Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hello and welcome back to more Pathfinder Kingmaker. I'm Liz. It's another session for me. This is my third session of recording for this game. Now, the first one was last night, second one was earlier this morning, and now it is uh, Saturday night. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna do a few videos here today. We are going after Tusk Gutter and Fang Berries and some various other things. But before we start that. If you want the latest uh, on this series, you've been binge watching, you want to know what's going on, you want the next video right away, by all means, I invite you to subscribe and comment and like and all of those good things. Also, if you want the latest details about what's been happening on this channel, um, take a look at the links in the description. That in is the time. Twitter feed and the Discord, where I post updates and announcements about everything that's been happening. Gets a little bit slow when the channel slows down, but when there's activity, there is activity there. That's where it gets posted. All right, let's uh, gather our party and venture forth. We'll bring all of our AOE things with us. We might need them. We're at minus 28. We still have our small bag of holding. We're going to get two more bags of holding, another small bag, and a full-size bag of holding um, in the next act, but uh, we don't have them yet. Let's take with us... Um, I don't know what order these are going to need to be in to... Well, let's do Valerie, Amiri, Harem, Lindsay, Octavia. I, I don't know what order my formation is set up for, so we'll take a look at our formation. Um, they might have got moved around a little bit, but it should still be effective, the one that we're using. We'll have to actually get to, uh, to a location first. Alright, so... We don't want to go for the fang berries yet. Uh, we want to do those at the end because we cannot rest after getting them before we come back. There's a lot of unexplored territory too. We have tons of time left. Like, uh, there. Just tons of time. 76 days. Still blurry. Like, the map still looks blurry to me. I don't know why it looks so blurry. Like, everything else looks good, but the map's picture looks blurry. So Tusk Gutter is all the way down over here. We can go take Tusk Gutter out to do some sexploration down here, and then we will loop back and uh, maybe explore some areas around the old Sycamore and then head up to the Fangberry Cave. Maybe head up here. There's another location up here, I think. And uh, there's like a rat's thing over here, a hill, rat a kill or something, which is a very tough area. Um, Usually I recommend going there at like level 5 or 6 even. And uh, then we have like the Fangberry Cave. Okay, so we, we've got some things to do. We're going to start today off with Tusk Gutter. And to that end, we are going to travel to Thorn Ford. Where are we? Are we going to do this? Tell you what. Let's, uh, let's do some exploration along the way. Yeah, I don't need to go up there. There is an old oak here or something like that. No? I'm sure there's supposed to be a location up here somewhere. That's a pain in the ass to deal with. This is this is a little inefficient. But it's exploring this territory so that if I travel down it in the future, uh, I can I automatically get paths. Okay, so that's explored. <laughs> Adventures can wait. All of our characters are fatigued, we will do our rest now. I'm going to spend a little bit of time doing this. We, we didn't spend very much time getting to this point at all. Um, we were very good about how often we rested. Even when we were carrying like extra weight for a while there, we were very good about how, how often we rested. And we saved a lot that way. So we're going to stop there. I swear there's supposed to be another location here. With a troll in it. Like an old oak or something with a troll protecting it. A man A man-eater troll or something. That's also a tough fight. All right, any uh, ambushers up here? Very possibly. No, it's animals. There's not going to be ambushers. Let's just double check, but I'm pretty sure there will not be ambushers. Yeah, we don't even need to do stuff like use our arcane trick. Well, we're not actually an arcane trickster yet, but we do have the ability to sneak attack. In due time. Uh, we were already up near the, the talk there. We should probably just go up instead of come down when we get those events. Um, but yeah, we can still sneak attack. Even though we're not an arcane trickster yet, she still has one point in rogue, so she can still sneak attack. So we do want to be doing that. I hate the steam achievement 
progress tracking in this game. Like every time you have a random encounter, you get this uh, survivor progress tracking happen, and it's really annoying seeing it come up like constantly. All right, there we go. We've sort of explored a little bit more over here. We'll get the path down this way. There. Just just filling in a little bit of the stuff here. We're not going to go there. We're going to uh, travel to here, and then we're going to head south and make our way to Tuscutter's Lair. We're pretty close. We may need to rest, but I, I... need to catch yeah. my breath. Octavia wants to rest. Is it down this way? Resting yeah. would be nice. Totally. Don't you think? Okay, so we're going to rest here. And then we'll hit the lair. We can uh, defeat the Stag Lord, and I'm, I'm gonna guess we're probably gonna have at least like 40 days left after we defeat the Stag Lord, where we could just explore the other locations on the map before we actually claim the barony for ourselves. I do like that we got well fed there too, that's really cool. Let's enter Tuscutter's lair. So Amiri is gonna be the stupidest person in the world here. I never pay attention to the dialogue, but I do know she runs in by herself, because she's like, yeah, let's do this. Um, I mean, my buffs should last long enough, right? I could totally buff our Ready and people willing. here. I don't have, Bye. like, ray yeah. spells, so I can use my limited spells on a large person, on, like, a Miri and me. And we can totally go ahead and, like, shield a Faith Hera and Bless and Bull Strength. And then if we're going to do all that, we could totally just do this too. And then let's run in. And Amiri's going to be like, we're here. Let's tear him apart. There's a custom where I'm from. A boy kills a monster in front of the elders to prove he's a man. <laughs> I love Octavia. <laughs> uh, that's funny. In our part, the place do something rather different to become men. Yes. Oh, I like you, Octavia. I especially like the way she wears this. In our parts, boys must do something rather different to become men. Yes. The, the double entendre here is just great. I love Octavia's wit in a lot of situations. Definitely my favorite character in the game. Amiri throws an angry glance at the half-elf, and Octavia falls silent, but her teasing smile remains. In our tribe, girls don't get no initiation at all, so I arranged my trial myself. Like in the song about Kaggle the Orphan, I drowned a cave lion in single combat. Down. Drown. <laughs> That'd be impressive. <laughs> I downed a cave lion in single combat. Here, see? The scars I got in that battle. And do you know what my elders did after I threw the lion's skin at their feet? They admitted they were wrong? Dream on! They laughed in my face. They said I scratched my belly myself and hired some man to kill the lion for me and trade for... Ugh. Later they agreed... Later they agreed my initiation, of course. They had no... Tr that just seems awkward. But... I see. Come to battle. I don't need to know more. Let's just do it. Gorum, watch me! With a battle cry, the barbarian charges the boar. And we don't actually get control over anybody else yet. It's her alone at this point. Challenge. And we're not going we're not letting in her do time. this alone. This is that's that's stupid as holy crap. Is that ever stupid? So let's uh let's run in a little bit closer it's and let's just have act. everybody who is capable I'm of charging listening. here. Or everybody who has any benefit at all from charging. Patience. Just charge Tuscutter. And, Lindsay was called for. and you guys can just, provoked. you know, attack the old fashioned way. Can you make an epic pose? I have inspiration. <laughs> Holy crap, look at that damage. Breathing heavily, Amiri stands over the corpse of the fallen monster. What you say? See me in action. I almost chopped his head off. A real epic battle, just like the sagas. I won't even have to embellish it for the book. That's it. Trial done. No one did, no one dares say Amiri is weak. You are a valiant warrior. Were there truly fools who doubted your strength? Some did, you know. I spit on them. No one will dare bark at me now. I'm honored you consider me part of your tribe. You're a strong and valiant warrior. Just don't start. <laughs> she turns away. Aww, Amiri is blushing. I owe you thanks. You have a true chief's heart. I'll kill it too, not just for a test. Yeah. So, uh, sure. I'll totally fight more, more of Everything them with possible. you. Also, you need to turn this off. You should have automatically done that. <laughs> yeah, so all those buffs 
for that. Uh, we didn't manage to skin him I'm either. There. That's unfortunate. But there's some loot on this map. Um, not the greatest loot in the world, but I mean there is an ancient coin. I mean that's good, I suppose. And some honey. Look at our big characters here. Holy crap. I do want to check. What's our reach go to? It still says six foot milli here. Um, but they definitely attack from further away than that. In large, right, in large person decks. Mm, excuse me. They definitely, definitely can attack from further away. a space of 10 feet and a natural reach of 10 feet. Okay, so they have a natural reach of 10 feet. So, I think their reach increases with I any must. weapon they use, but uh, I don't know if there's anything else on this map. Let's, let's explore a little. This isn't an, a random encounter map, so there very well could be other things on it. Let's just take a quick peek around. But yeah, see, see the power of buffs? We charge in there and we kill a what's effectively supposed to be a, a relatively difficult boss mob in uh, no time at all. In fact, if we actually look at some of these attacks that we did on them, we got to go back a little bit. There, we attacked Tuskutter. Okay, so he had 17 AC because he was flat-footed still. He has plus 8 from natural armor, but we, we killed him while he was still flat-footed. So Tuskutter didn't even actually get a chance to act in that battle before we killed him. Like, our initiative was so much better than his because we were all ready for battle going into it that he was still flat-footed when we hit him. Um, and his AC, his penalty for being flat-footed never even uh, caught up, which is amazing. I love it. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> that's done. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to have to reload that battle, like I was not thinking that that would be a difficult battle. But uh, holy crap was that uh, a whole hell of a lot easier than I was expecting it to be. I was expecting somebody to at least get hit, you know, gored a little bit. Probably not knocked down, but at least, you know, like maybe take a quarter of their life off. What are we facing? I'm listening. And is there one up here? In due time. I kind of wish I had glitter dust. Some might. Okay. Doesn't look like there's one up here, so. There's just two down here. Alright. I'll take it. Was expecting one to ambush us from up that direction. Uh, yeah, so they have, like, <coughs> relatively insignificant stuff on them. Nothing that crazy. Ah, alrighty. So what we're doing here is just filling in a little bit more territory so that we can, like, just quickly click on the map and it'll take us to where we want to go a little bit easier. Um, so do we want to go to the Fangberry Cave now? I don't think so. I think we'll head down this way first. And we'll explore around the uh, old sycamore a bit. And then we will head up to the Fangberry Cave on the way back through. Because, like I say, we've got a ton of time right now. We don't need to be rushing at all. I need to catch my breath. Ooh, we engage somebody right as Octavia gets fatigued. Fantastic. We're, we're going to need more fort saves on her. In fact, if she's not wearing a cloak right now, well, let's double check. Is Octavia wearing a cloak? No. Um... Somebody who is, who has really good saves. So that's me and Harem, and Harem has way better saves than us. Oh, the names of these cloaks show up now. The names of these cloaks weren't showing up before. And the belt, right? Yeah, the name of the belt shows up now too. Resistance bonus on saving throws against disease, fatigue, and exhaustion. That's actually really good. You know. Hold on. Do both of those... They both apply? Cool! Um... <laughs> so 
So you'll have 27 HP. She's going to have 34. I've got 28. So his HP is a little low without this, but we can get him a constitution belt. The explorer's belt specifically has resistance bonus on saving throws against disease, fatigue, and exhaustion. And then if we put this on as well to get fort saves, so Octavia should be able to go on map a lot further potentially now before she gets fatigued. And Lindsay, we could use a little bit more on her too. Only two fort. Everybody else has like five fort, which is all good. Yeah, we need cloaks of resistance like plus one or plus two on everybody. But this is going to help us not fatigue a little bit better. I hope it should. In due time. There's usually somebody right here. Are they stealth? Like, what the hell am I encountering? Sometimes down here. What? Skeletal Come. champion. Oh boy. Consider me provoked. Oh boy. Hmm. Is there another one? I only see the one. This will hurt. They usually have like masterworks. Yes, masterwork longsword. I mean, I've got a plus one, so it doesn't really matter that much to me. But uh, and look at that. She took a hit and she barely took any damage. I love the what is it called? Invulnerable I rager or need whatever. To catch my breath. I love that archetype of Barbarian so much more than the default Barbarian. Holy balls do I love that archetype so much more. We're going to rest on the map here, and I'm hoping that uh, Octavia will... I'm hoping that Octavia will um, uh, make it longer on the map now. We got the meal, that's fantastic. Ratna Kill, there we go. Ratna Kill is a really tough encounter. Like, really tough encounter. There's also a lot of traps there, which makes it really good for experience. That takes us to the old Sycamore. We're gonna go up this way. No, we won't enter there. Let's just keep going up here. One more. Old Outpost, Kingdom Resource High Ground, which I believe is military resource, is what it gives. Need to catch my breath. So she's a little fatigued now, but uh, right before everybody else got fatigued, so that's fantastic. Let's head down to here. We're going to cross over here. Very good. All right, cancel. We're going to rest here at the cave, and then we're going to go get these um, fang berries. So the spider cave here is full of... Um, Full of nasty swarms. We have burning hands. We're also going to equip some alchemist fire just in case our burning hands aren't enough. I'm sure the burning hands will do it, but just in case we need some AoE stuff equipped. So we'll equip those real quick. Um, and we'll head inside. And we're, we're just going to scour this entire map and kill like everything in it. Because why not? Right? Why not? Ugh. I would like it if there was like an Asimar built-in companion. That would have been cool. It's raining. It's not like hardcore monsoon pouring all over the place rain though. So that's good. When that happens you get slowed down. I'm almost tempted to just like rest when that happens because of the amount of time it takes to get around the map. But more like in world time passes when you rest. This Can will make hurt. Your toes? I need inspiration. This strike, oh, my masterpiece. Oh, 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 man. I do what I must. That power strike from that Fashard is just absolutely devastating. Um, technically Three, speaking, eight. it's less Two, powerful and straight up than no. the great axes, but. Right. It is still nice. I'm off. Skin. We got some loot down here. That is a cobalt body, it looks like. Don't know what got him. Or it. Her. I don't know. Whatever. And let's head over to the cave. Uh, yeah, I've got five uses. Out of curiosity. 
yeah, his level 2 spells are all set. He doesn't have any new ones. Cool. Alright, well, let's get in there. In due time. Mm hmm. So, we are going Follow to, uh, myrtleize this big ol' spider here. I'm listening. I'm always ready. Go ahead and myrtleize that. Octavia, Black I'm gonna have come over here. Cause I'm gonna need her to burning hands these guys. And hurt my guys in the process. Possibly. I mean, we could technically save. Wow, did we actually... Whoa, we wiped those two out already. I was expecting to need a few more burning hands to wipe them out. Lindsay, get out here. What a waste. Harem and Valerie, you can both charge in. Actually, Valerie can run in. One. Liz you needs a little bit of time. Run. Amiri Tear can run in apart. there. And Octavia needs to deal with this <laughs> spider swarm. So if you please, <laughs> burn and eat our people too. <laughs> Liz, get out. There's no reason for you to be there. There's honestly no reason for any of our people to be there, but um, especially with Liz's HP going down. Not bad. Not bad at all. There we go. Um, awaits us. <laughs> there, there is a protection from energy communal, which we're going to be getting soon. I have two shields of face, really? Why, why is it on my bar twice? Okay, whatever. Anyway, protection from energy communal will be getting soon, and we could have set that to fire energy and um, protected like everybody from a bunch of points of it. Amiri wow. is really good for this though, because Amiri has like natural resistances to stuff. I'm yeah. pretty sure that Valerie is already starting to get like reflex save stuff that reduces her damage on it as well. Liz doesn't though, so Liz was just gonna take whatever damage uh, happened to the come at us. Near. We're gonna go ahead and channel some positive energy for like the first time. In uh, in this uh, campaign, let's loot this guy, and we need to do some nature checks here. So, who's best at nature? Apparently, Valerie. Holy balls! I was successful. Oh, she did it. I'm there. We receive. Oh, we got poison. Strength damage. I am yours to command. How much ability minus two? Do I have Patience. restoration? I don't have restoration. No, I, I took I uh, bull strength twice, didn't I? Um, we can. Th we still have something that we can use to cure Adventure that, like treat ailment, that. right? Somebody has treat ailment, we could use that. But we have to roll on that, though, don't we? Treat affliction, that's it. To treat an affliction means to tend to a single disease or poison character. Make a lore religion check. DC of the affliction, the affliction is removed. You can treat each character only once per day. Oh. So, was lost in I've got a Treat Affliction here. Harem uses Treat Affliction. I am your shield. We did not remove that. Okay, whatever. Well, we'll go rest anyway, but uh, we're, we're heading back to um, Oleg's trading post to return the Fangberries. We can't do anything else at this point. We're carrying the Fangberries. We have to go back. We have to rest when we're done because we'll get rid of that and all that kind of thing. We can't rest now is what I'm getting at. Uh, we can do a random encounter, I believe. I don't think that's going to delay us enough as long as we, you know, make it through it and whatnot. To victory! All right, so there is an animal behind us. Fascinating. Harem is back here too for some reason. Why don't you uh, head back there with Liz? And uh, Octavia is going to move up a little bit. And Valerie, you can go charge after this one. I have select on for some. What's the key for select? Inspect is Y. Okay. And Amiri, so you head up here as well. Yeah, that's fine. Oh man, they're both dead already. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Skin. And then let's get this one and skin it. We got nothing. Okay. Are we close to the exit? Yeah, we're close to the exit. Let's go. I, uh, I'm i not used to seeing animals ambushy. Like, the animals are usually all straightforward. It's usually the goblins and skeletons and bandits and mites and kobolds and lizard men and stuff like that that ambush you. Ah. 
Good old water. Training post, enter. How close are we to a level? I think we just got a level recently. I think I'm used to leveling around now, and we leveled really early. Like, I'm pretty sure I've got a lot of experience compared to what I'm used to so far in this playthrough. Uh, yeah, 5,700. So we're a little ways away still, but not, not that ridiculously far. And we're level 3, aren't we? Yeah, 3. So we'll be 4 easily sometime during the old Sycamore quest. So, Bakken, first of all, let's give you your fang berries before they expire. About those tasks. Ah, fang berries, so fresh. You've been good to an old man, thank you. Here, take these potions. If you need more, feel free to return. I'll even give you a discount. What do you use them for? Oh, fuck, I'm not reading that. Okay, so he just, uh, he can't taste anything, so he sticks them in his porridge because it's the only thing he can taste. Alright, cool. And then we need to get him the other thing, but we can we can get him the moon radishes uh, easily as part of the next sort of chain of quests we're doing. Oleg! Tuskutter is dead. You can mount his head on the wall as a trophy. 180 experience, fantastic. 400 gold, a masterwork longbow. We'll speak another time. Farewell. I'm there. Let's verify. Yes, strength is too low to be using a bow. So we're not even going to equip her with anything. Strength is too low for a bow. You guys are not going to use a bow. And the only person who's going to use a bow, we're going to be giving a nice old composite longbow, a magical one. We're not going to be using a standard longbow. So yeah, we don't need that. Masterwork longsword, I've already got a plus one. So I don't think I need to keep any of this gear. Breastplate... We already have a breastplate on the only person who's really going to use it, which is right here. So a plus one would be better, but we don't have that. So let's sell to Oleg. Show me your wares, old man. That'll be the wand. Uh, no, we're going to keep remove blindness, at least until we can do it ourselves. You can have this. You can actually have all the alchemist fire now. I don't actually care about it anymore, and we should probably take those other ones off of Octavia. You can have the acid flasks, this, pearl... I don't need the acid flasks, even knowing what's coming up in the next chapter and why acid might be good to have. I don't actually need them. Cool. That works. 700 and something. I get about 4,000. A stock light mace plus one. I'm not really into masterwork at this point. Like, we're using a regular fashard. We could get a masterwork one. There's one here. It'd be better for us hitting, but I'd rather use a plus one. And I'd rather just not waste my money on Masterworks right now. We're pretty effective even with regular gear at the moment. Quarterstaff, Rapier... I'd much rather have like better shield, like a two tower shield plus one, or better armor, like a full plate plus one. I think we've already bought the full plate that he gets at this point in the game, though. Yeah. The merchants aren't like random per day or whatever. They actually have like set times where they update their stock. I do what I and missed. Oleg will end up getting a lot of gear. Like he'll end up with like a dozen full plates basically, and potentially a couple full plate plus ones, but um, not yet. Uh, okay, so prove your worth. That's help Amiri kill another mighty monster. It's going to be a little while before that happens. Fangberries are done, Tuskutter's done, we've got moon radishes, and we've got uh, a bit of rival as the next thing. So we need to go to the old sycamore. Sounds good uh -huh. to me. Oh, we'll rest first though. We'll give everybody one nice good rest here in Oleg's. Unfortunately, you don't get the meal bonus when you rest here. And then we're going to head to the old sycamore. And I think... With that, this is a good time to uh, call it quits for this episode. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in. I have been Liz. This has been Pathfinder Kingmaker. Next time, we are going to head out to the old Sycamore, and we're going to uh, start dealing with the, the, big, the big stuff in this chapter. I'll see you then.